So it's stuff on the lines. So it's been a wee while since I've been out. I've been waiting on the weather improving, which it hasn't. It's actually been really misty. But it's lifted a wee bit now and it's it's just very, very grey. There's no contrast, there's no bright parts. It's just quite flat. So I've been waiting on the weather improving. It's been very foggy, it's been very misty. Uh, it's still kind of coming and going. What I've decided to do is actually find some structures along the coast uh, how do we look on Google Maps to find out what uh, structures are in the, the fourth, the Firth of Fourth, to see what structures are there that I could take photos of that are kind of high key and minimal. Uh, the weather is so grey, there's, you know, it's not creating any interesting light, it's not cr creating any interesting contrast, there's not even interest in the sky with the clouds, it's just grey, 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 but it's pretty bright. So I'm kind of hoping to get that that high key effect of looking at a long exposure with these structures in the water. But with the kind of the grey misty sky it's going to hopefully fall off behind so there's no distractions behind the structures that, I've, that I, I'm, I'm planning on shot. So the first stop off is here in Granton. Uh, there's a, a jetty, a kind of like a, a water breaker that goes out, it creates a bit of a harbour um, there and I think, I believe at the end of it, I've never been here before I, to, to the end of the, the jetty. But I believe there's a kind of wooden structure, like an old broken down remains of a jetty or something that's there. Uh, I kind of spied something that looked like that on Google Maps. Um, so this is the first stop. I'm going to walk along there, have a wee look. And then the next stop is there's another, again, derelict, rotting, broken down uh, jetty, which is just a wee bit further in uh, towards Leith, uh, a place called New Haven, just just not far from where we are. And then there's another one at Ocean Terminal, which is in Leith. So, and I've been to that one before. I've shot that one before, but I'm um, again. I'm hoping for this 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 bright greyness that's going to you know cloak any distractions behind the objects, the the jetties in this in this case, and just so it's just really a, a minimum very much high key uh, that's the kind of the plan for today three stops um on the way home let's see let's see here we go so i'm on the jetty and it's uh, it's incredible i don't know what age this is but there's a uh, right Running along the centre of the jetty, there's this really kind of gnarly rock, which is really quite incredible. They've obviously kind of flattened off the edges and things for people to walk up and down, uh, or there's new rock put in place there, I'm not too sure. But uh, yeah, this kind of gnarly rock, it's got some serious character to it, it's absolutely fantastic. So I think that was pretty successful, looking at the back of the camera, it looked pretty good. Um, there's still a wee bit of visibility of Fife, which is over the water there. That was still in the shot. I was kind of hoping the, the sea har would last long enough just to kind of mask that out. Uh, but that was still there, which is a bit unfortunate. But I think just looking in the back of the camera, the main structure itself really took precedence. So you're, you're, you're going to kind of forget about what's happening behind it. Most of it is very white because I've you know, made it as high key and minimal as possible. Um, and obviously created a long exposure as well just to flatten that water out not that it's very choppy there's just a little bit of ripples in it but it's enough just to really flatten out just so the main focus is that structure standing proud right in the middle of the frame there uh, awkward kind of area to get to i tried a couple of um compositions i, I was low down i kind of clambered down to the the, the, the harbour wall um a, a wee bit precarious because it was pretty slidey uh but i took a couple of shots there then i went to the other extreme went around to the other side and extended the tripod as high as I possibly could and shot down towards it because there's kind of two structures and um, there's a, a concrete kind of structure and then there's a wooden structure behind it and I didn't want the two structures interfering with each other I wanted separation uh, and the only way really to do that was to get quite a vantage point as, as high as I could I would like to go on a wee bit higher actually but it's as high as I could shooting down onto it and um, I was wide open with my uh, 
focal length um, sitting at 24 mil. Uh, that is, it was just ideal because there was other structures and there was actual ground as well because I was shooting down. I didn't want to get any of the, the harbour wall in the shot either. So that was an ideal focal length. I didn't have to get the 17 to 40 out, which I initially thought I would have had to because it's pretty close to the, the end of the harbour wall. I was thinking maybe that's it's, it's going to cut out. But uh, yeah, it worked out fine. Uh, so the next stop is just round the bay, actually, over to New Haven. Um, I've already done a video there with the lighthouse, but I think there's also a, a remnants of a, a structure in the water there. I think, I'm not too sure about that one, um, but I think there might be one there. So I'm going to have a wee wander along there, have a look to see if there is any possibilities. Well, no joy at New Haven. Uh, I'm sure there used to be an old jetty here. Like just, it was hardly anything. It was just, you know, uh, structured pieces of wood coming up. Maybe it's just when it's low tide, maybe it's just been removed. Um, but yeah, nothing there. So the next stop off is going to be uh, Ocean Terminal. So around the corner, more towards into Leith, there's definitely one there. But hopefully there's no boats or anything either moored up near it or across from it, because that kind of ruins the, the whole image, because it, you know, you, I'm after something very clean and minimal. Uh, any boats, it kind of ruins that. So it's, it's, it's going to be a non-starter if there's boats there. But we'll head along and have a wee look. So we're not having much luck today. The the position where you shoot from, which is it's just a stone's throw from where I parked the car. Uh, it's a walkway, and it walks the walkway that goes right round behind um, Ocean Terminal. Uh, that whole area is cordoned off because they're doing works there, so it's no pedestrians passed. It's a bit of a shame, but in hindsight, it wouldn't have been that great because uh, on the way, and I noticed there was a huge big uh, supply vessel that is moored across from where the jetty is, uh, a huge big orange thing. So it, it, even if I'd managed to get to the, the, the point where you can you set up for the shot, uh, it wouldn't have worked anyway because of the, the huge big boat in the way. So it looks like it's going to be a shot for another time because uh, I don't know when, it looks like it's quite excessive work that's going on there so it's not, it's not going to be finished soon. Um, so we'll just keep on monitoring that and hopefully have a return visit for that shot. Um, it's actually started to brighten up a bit a week as well and the, the, the sea har is, is lifted, it's pretty much clear. So that whole ethereal kind of softness um, that I was uh, trying, going to make the most of isn't even present anyway. So fingers crossed that first shot that was taken out at Granton uh, has worked out because that's the only shot I got today. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that. Apologies, there was really only one or two images coming from this vlog, uh, but it was just, it was, it was good to get out. It, um, the weather, as I said at the start of the vlog, has not been great. Uh, so kind of, you know, just trying different things, trying to come up with imaginative ideas to make the most of the grey, bleak weather that we're currently experiencing. Uh, but if you, as normal, if you enjoyed that, please give us a thumbs up, uh, a like, a subscribe, all that kind of good stuff. Share it if you wish. It would be much appreciated. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. See you later.